I waited for the sun to be in this direct degree so it hits directly on my pupil. I like to be a little bit uncomfortable when I film. So it kind of gives me my edge and I'm very uncomfortable right now. Okay, let's get right into it guys. We got another custom e-bike build for you today. I'm gonna go into what bike this is, what we did to it. And you know, if you got a bike like this, why you should seriously consider converting it. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I convert bikes into e-bikes and I do a bunch of other nerdy stuff. If you like this stuff, you should check out my other videos. Getting right into it. This is the Specialized Cross Trail. I think it's called the Elite Disc is like the sub trim. This is a hybrid bike. It's, it's a road oriented trail bike. It's got a, a suspension up front so it could handle light duty trails. I would say this would be at home at campgrounds. This would actually be great because it's on the roads. You could actually ride your bike to the campground. If you put a big enough battery on this, you could ride your bike to the campground and then still go on some trails and all that. So I, I really like these bikes. It may fit a specific need for you. And I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on who I think this bike is for and all that, but kind of want to go over what I, what I like about this bike um, and why I like these style of bikes. I like all bikes, if you can't tell. I like a lot of styles of bikes and I always want to have these bikes. I'm always like, oh yeah, I need to have that in my garage for when I want to go do that kind of riding. So this one's got disc brakes. They're hydraulic disc brakes, so it's nice. It's got really good stopping power. You don't need disc brakes. You don't need hydraulic disc brakes. You don't need mechanical disc brakes. You could get away with rim brakes. Generally, hydraulic brakes are the best though. But you could get poorly made ones and a very well made rim brake will be better than even a poorly made hydraulic disc brake. So don't just go by, oh, it just has that, it's good. These happen to be good hydraulic disc brakes. These have 700C tires, so they're thinner tires. I think they're like 38s, something like that. So these are gonna be really good on the pavement. They're thin, they're like ice skates going on on ice. They just, there's no resistance. They these things fly. But if you're taking this off-road, you want to have thicker ones. So you could upgrade these to a little bit thicker tires and kind of still have the best of both worlds. But right now, this is set up for pavement riding. And the front suspension seat, uh, front suspension is gonna really take care of a lot of road imperfections, cracks, and things like that. It does have brazons for putting a rack on here. So you could put a really heavy-duty rack on here and put pannier bags and what whatever you wanted to do. Okay, let's get right into what we did to it. We added a BBS HD motor. That's a thousand watt mid-drive motor. Puts out about 1700 watts peak, a little bit over. When paired with the battery, we got the 52 volt, six amp hour battery here. It's got 30 Q cells. So those cells can put out 30 amps, no problem. Even though this is a really small pack, generally small packs, it's harder for them to put out a hard a lot of power but these 30 q cells are good at doing that like if you weren't going for high capacity you wouldn't want to put a 30 q cell in like a 52 volt 30 amp hour battery pack that would just be overkill you'd be paying a lot for chemistry that you shouldn't be using but anyways check out my other videos if you want to hear about battery stuff um, we put a lecky 42 tooth on here it brings the the chain ratio down a little bit more so it's gonna be a little bit better at hill climbing than the stock chain ring which is 46 tooth this is also a lecky so it has a fat narrow chain tooth profile and it's just a really good quality one i always recommend getting the lecky ones you could get off name brand ones i don't recommend doing that if it doesn't say lecky bling ring on it i probably would not buy it i also put a gear shift sensor on it and that just acts like an automatic clutch what that does is it just cuts power briefly while you're shifting gears you do need to be pedaling at about 60 to 80 rpm for that really to be effective the faster you're pedaling the more effective it is so if you're just crawling around really slow it's not going to be super effective but if you use that the way that it's intended you're going to save the life of your chain drastically and all your drivetrain components so i definitely recommend doing it for a display we went with a 500c color display i like this display this is probably my favorite and it's the one that i would probably most recommend if you don't need a usb output so if you don't need to charge your phone things like that if you don't need to charge stuff off of it this one does not have it but if you don't need it this one's awesome because it's small it's sleek and it gives you a digital readout of your battery in voltage uh, we've got a throttle next to it so yes it has pedal assist nine different pedal assist levels and it also has throttle so you could use one or the other all right let's go do a johnny nerd out test um, where i test this bike's capabilities only using throttle i don't add my own human power to it uh, and I test it from a standstill climbing a hill with a running start climbing a hill and just top speed.
Okay, so you can see 37 miles an hour, even going with a smaller chain ring. Like that's, that's where you want. Pedaling, you're probably gonna max out at about 30 miles an hour, I'm guessing, where you're just going like 90 RPM, where it's starting to get a little too fast. But 30 miles an hour is crazy fast. That's probably faster than most legal limits anyway, so that's why I kind of like the 42 tooth. You're gonna go crazy fast, but it's also gonna give you that hill climbing. If you need more hill climbing, go with the 36 tooth. That's gonna give you better hill climbing, better acceleration, just more torque. But yeah, this is a great bike. It's a Specialized. You cannot go wrong with Specialized. It's one of those brands, if, if you're looking at a bike that you're like, eh, I don't know, is this a good one? Should I buy it or not? If it says Specialized and it's got disc brakes on it, that means it's probably fairly new. You probably can't go wrong with it. So anyways, I really like this bike. This is gonna be an awesome commuter. All right, thanks guys, see ya.